Hello there and welcome to Fares Please, a channel where we explore transit, past and present. This video takes us back to 1980s Toronto. The city is becoming a thriving metropolis and looking to expand its transit system. At the same time, the city of Toronto is looking to revitalize the harbour front. It's decided that the new revitalized waterfront would be best served by a light rail line. So plans are drawn up for the harbour front LRT and construction begins. With the opening of this new line, along with the future proposed Spadina LRT, plus the retirement of the older PCC fleet, new streetcars are needed to help maintain service. After studies on new streetcars were undertaken, it was revealed that new ones would cost way too much money to purchase at the time. So, the TTC turned its head to an old reliable friend, the iconic President's Conference Committee Car, or PCC for short. By the mid to 1980s, most of the PCC fleet had been replaced by the newer CLRVs and ALRVs. However, a few still remained in service, most notably the 4500 series, or Class A8. Two A8 Class PCCs were rebuilt, one by the UTDC in Kingston, Ontario, and the other at the TTC's Harvey Shops at Hillcrest. The cars were completely stripped down and rebuilt top to bottom. The final result was a complete success and resulted in a completely new streetcar, at a significant savings over purchasing brand new ones. The rebuilt PCCs were numbered in the 4600 series, painted in the black, red, and white paint scheme of the CLRVs and classed as the A15s, being out shopped in 1986 and 1987. Up to 30 PCCs would be rebuilt by the TTC at the Harvey shop. It was decided by some that the CLRV paint scheme did not fit well on these cars, so the future rebuilds were painted in the traditional maroon and cream, while two cars, number 4500 and 4549, were restored to the original 1951 appearance. These newly rebuilt cars were used in tour and charter service until the 604 Harborfront line opened in 1990. June 22, 1990 marked a historic day in the city of Toronto as the first new streetcar line in many years officially opened. With Harborfront being a tourist destination and trying to emulate other cities like San Francisco, it was decided that the Harborfront line would be run exclusively with rebuilt PCC streetcars. The rebuilt A15 PCC streetcars looked absolutely amazing and became a huge hit with the public, transit enthusiasts and tourists alike. These beautiful streetcars seem to have a bright future in the city of Toronto. Some of my favorite memories of growing up are riding these streetcars to and from the ferry terminal for a day at the island with my parents. As we know, all good things must come to an end. When the 1990s began, a recession hit the Canadian economy and hit Toronto hard. Unemployment soared and TTC revenues and ridership fell. Because of this, and also because of the fact it was decided that future TTC vehicles should be fully accessible, the PCC rebuilding program came to an end. It was once planned to rebuild up to 30 PCC streetcars, however, only 19 were done. Another blow came to the PCC operation in Toronto when Harbourfront residents began to complain about the squealing wheels at the loop at Queen's Key and Spadina, although I never thought they were any louder than the other streetcar types. Nevertheless, with these complaints, the TTC decided to take the PCCs off Harbourfront in 1994. They were then shifted to other routes such as the 504 King, the 505 Dundas, or the 506 Carlton. Although with TTC service cuts due to the recession, they only really saw service during peak period hours. With reduced service levels, the TTC found itself with a surplus of streetcars. At the November 1995 commission meeting, it was decided to dispose of the remaining PCC streetcars. It was announced the last car would run in December 7, 1995, giving the public very little notice that the cars would be retiring.
On that day, December 7th, 1995, a farewell parade was organized to say goodbye to the PCC streetcar. Two cars decked out in banners and bunting ran from Russell Division in the east along Queen Street to Roncesville's Division in the west with a police escort. On board, dignitaries and politicians alike gave speeches and talked about this memories of these iconic streetcars. One of the most volatile criticisms had to do with the fact that the new cars were of the one-man variety. As I said, I said that uh, this vehicle The next day on December 8, 1995, was the final scheduled revenue run of a PCC streetcar in Toronto, bringing to an end 57 years of streamliner service in Toronto. Full of transit enthusiasts and members of the public who wished to say goodbye, car number 4611 headed from Main Street Station in the East to Roncesville Division in the West. Queen and the Queensway, this is the last stop for this car. The PCCs are now out of revenue service. Queen and the Queensway, Roncesville. Queensway, Roncesville, final stop for PCCs. After the PCCs were done in revenue service, they were moved from Russell and Roncesville's division to the Witchwood Car Barns for storage in the Bathurst and St. Clair area. Videographer Ray Nielsen captured these beautiful scenes of the snow and the PCC streetcars heading into storage at the Witchwood Barns. Although this seems like a sad ending, it really isn't. The streetcars were put on display inside the Witchwood Barns, and interested parties from all over North America came to take a look at them. Many trolley and streetcar museums ended up acquiring these streetcars, and they were pretty much brand new at the time. They continue to live on at many museums across North America, as well as other transit agencies such as Kenosha, Wisconsin. The TTC also decided to retain two PCC streetcars as part of its heritage fleet. Number 4500 and 4549 remain on the property today and are used in special events and charter service. Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, why not take a look at some of the other content available on our channel.